All right, so it's been a while since we've done a video. Uh, just been a crazy uh, end of summer and back to school. But we are off to get to California to get something to hopefully help our camping. And the goal is that we'll get out more once we go pick up this item. I got Eggsy and Jacob, the Die Hards crew, with me today. Um, so, follow along. Welcome to the Kramer Family Adventures, where we explore here, there, and everywhere. So the last video was uh, us going to California to get the Black Series camper. Um, and we're kind of on our maiden voyage, but I'm going to do a walkthrough of the camper now. Daddy. All right, so we're going to do a walkthrough of the camper, mainly on the outside because the kids and the wife are inside watching a movie. So we have pull out drawer with fridge, some extra storage around. We have another pull out drawer. Got dry goods in here, tent poles that go up here. Thankfully for the pole guide, who knows if we'll ever do the annex that goes off the side because uh, it takes a minute. But if we're gonna stay for a day, then we will. In the back here, we have our pull-out kitchen, uh, faucet hooks up to the water line, sink that works, some extra drawers that I already got loads of stuff in. That's all handy. Three burner, Dometic, cooktop which is super sweet um supposedly it was supposed to come with a drying rack which maybe this one didn't come with all right so i don't know where i was before the dog started barking at the neighbor people's dogs but sweet pull out works really well i actually forgot and just remembered that this uh pull out counter little drawer thing is there Oh, we were cooking earlier on it. Um, amazing feature, two full-size tires. Most, be, if you're lucky, if you get one on some of them, but with uh, this one, it's been super sweet. We'll go ahead and look um, up under here. It's a 35 gallon water tank. Um, decent suspension, which is great for off-road. Um, this this camper is going to be great. Uh, it does have a receiver hitch in the back. Uh, it has to be pretty long to get past this panel. Uh, probably have to use the extension I have at home. But I don't know if I would ever put anything back there or not. Uh, it's one of the magic straps that helps open and close it. we got this big... Um, Roof rack. I don't know what you want to call it. What it's actually called. Uh, but it folds down when the camper's uh, open or closed. And you can put up to 200 pounds of divided weight on here. In here, we just have the plug for like the trickle charger. Keep a little, a few little accessories back there. Let fill for the water tank. Uh, over here is a little control panel. 
and control everything. Got fridge, the lights on the inside, just the power to the control panel. The middle one is the water pump, which says we're at 75%. Earlier it said we were at 50. I think it just hasn't been used in a while. Uh, we got some 12 volt plugs out here, which is pretty nice. The battery's going down a little bit now that so the panels aren't in the shade. Uh, another identical drawer to the other side. These are the poles that reach all the way through. Just another drawer. Kind of keep uh, odds and ends that I don't necessarily need to get to all the time, but once in a while because it's on the other side of the camper, mainly blocks to help with leveling if needed. Um, and this one's a short little one. Pull out. We've got our portable toilet, a couple of shower, first aid stuff, a little pop up tent if we needed it. We thankfully have restrooms here. Yeah, they're just vault toilets, but better than nothing, I guess. Um, in here, we have two five gallon jerry cans full of gas. Also, have two 20 pound propane tanks for cooking, which is gonna last us forever because we don't really use that much gas when we're cooking. Um, and sometimes these kids could just eat snacks. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a quick kind of point out. Uh, if you walk in on this side is a queen size bed. Um, and then on this side, where oh, sorry. everyone's at. Teach me something. How about patience? Hey guys. Come on, teach hey guys. Me <laughs> Welcome to my channel. <laughs> uh, you can see there's a fold up table that folds down and can be put in place to make another bed on the other side, which is where the kids slept last night. They acted like it was the most comfortable thing in the world. Okay, sounds good to me. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, nothing crazy, but serves a purpose. Uh, it didn't take me that long to get this just initial tent portion set up. Like I thought it was gonna take me a minute, but it's not really that hard. Probably only took me 15, 20 minutes tops. And that's because I did it by myself. Um, the other kind of cool thing is this like multi point articulating hitch, which is super nice. Uh, so it has a special receiver that it goes and locks into. Uh, the point goes through there, locks it, then the pin goes in this spot here and locks it all in. Uh, it seems pretty nice. We obviously haven't towed it a ton yet. But we shall see. It seems to tow okay on the highways. I've driven a little off-road with it just to test it out. Works pretty well. Oh, we have another ratchet up front up here that kind of helps lift it up and hold it in place. Also, just kind of keep it locked on there. I don't think the wind would blow hard enough to lift that up while I'm sleeping on it, but a little extra safety is never going to hurt anything. Um, that's pretty much it for the Black Series Dominator trailer that we purchased recently. Um, I think it's going to be a great addition to our trips. Um, it's going to make traveling a little bit easier because we can just kind of grab and go. For the most part, I'm going to keep everything packed up in it so that I can just grab and go and I'll throw a couple things together and that's it. That way I'm not having to load up the Forerunner the entire time. Unload it every single time. Uh, it's just going to be the kids crap that goes in there. You know, just have to grab some clothes and that's pretty much it. There are plans for me to add a shower um, awning thing off of the little roof rack thing so it's permanently mounted there and then we can have a little changing area roof rack additional uh, shower spot 
toilet spot if we need it because yeah we're at a campground now but we're not always going to have uh, a place to go to the restroom and it is a vault toilet so it is what it is all right so thanks for tuning in this video is super short and sweet uh, i'll get into more of it obviously I'm gonna see it more as we go along in our adventures from here on out uh, i can't see any reason we wouldn't take it outside of it. it's just me and like one kid camping they're almost sleeping in the tent probably but the conveniences of having it I probably will take it more often than not. Uh, it just makes it super easy to pull up, pop up in 15 minutes. Nice, warm. We used the buddy heater this morning. Um, and after letting it run for me, I was sweating inside. It was so warm, uh, which is super nice. But, all right. Till next time, guys.